Hey guys, this is the Casking Royal Legend. And I know we've done videos on this in the past. There's been quite a few of them on it. But today I was just going to do a short, kind of a beginner's overview and walkthrough tutorial on the on the Legend itself. Maybe this is your first bait casting reel you've ever purchased. You're having problems getting it adjusted or just knowing what all the parts are and how everything works. So I'm just going to go over it real fast. Really, really basic um, for the beginner angler. This has a star drag system on it. So the drag is adjusted right here with this star piece on the side. To increase the drag, you turn it away from you. Loosen, turn it towards you, righty tighty, lefty loosey. And then right here on the side, next to the handle, this knob here, that is the spool tension control knob. This is the one that I use when I basically use it to adjust um, considering on what lure I'm using. Again, to tighten, you turn it to the right or away from you left loosens or turn it towards yourself that loosens it um, the legend has a dual braking system a magnetic braking system and a centrifugal braking system on the inside on the outside of the side plate here this dial that is what you use to control the magnetic brakes zero to nine max um, obviously Zero, the brakes are completely off. Max up to the nine, that's the brakes turned all the way on. So you're gonna get um, more magnetic brakes the higher you go. Magnetic brakes are used more for the end of the cast, more towards slowing the spool down at the end of the cast. And then on the inside, you get to the centrifugal brakes and to access the inside, you gotta remove this side plate here. You can see on the bottom right there, it has a little button or knob that says pull and turn. All you do is take that knob with your finger, push it down or pull it towards you, and then turn the side plate down and it pops right out, easy like that. This is how you can get to the spool also if you ever need to remove the spool, if you want to oil the spool bearings or anything. I do that a couple times a year, you just pull the spool straight out, comes out easy. Sometimes, a couple times a year, I'll just put a drop of oil on that spool bearing there. Um, and the spool is easily replaced. You just drop it straight back in. Just like that. And then on the inside of the side plate, you can see these orange tabs. That is the centrifugal brake. Uh, right now I have mine, looks like they're all off. That's in the off position. To turn them on, just use your fingernail and pop them in. You pull them in and like that. All the centrifugal braking is on now. And if you're just getting into bait casters and you're having a hard time, this is your first one, and you're having a hard time casting, you're getting bird's nests or something like that, I know it can be frustrating. I'm going to try to show you an easy way to adjust it so you can try to reduce those backlashes and once you get it dialed in and get the practice and get it figured out you'll hardly ever backlash but the first thing I do <clears throat> depending on whatever lure you're using just put, put your line on get your lure tied on um, I'll adjust the spool tension knob first whatever lure I'm using I'll adjust it tighten it until I hit this button to release the line and that bait will slowly, gradually fall off the end of my rod. So adjust the spool tension knob until you get that. Until you hit the button, you get a nice slow fall of the lure. Next, I'll go to my magnetic brake. I'll put that about halfway, five or six, somewhere in there. And then open up the side plate again and get into the centrifugal brake. To start out, I usually just do two of them, and I'll go on opposite sides. So turn one on on one side. I guess I'm turning these two off first. So you can see here these two are off and these two are on. So I'll put two on 
replace the side plate, and then just start making a few casts. If I'm not getting any backlashes, great, I've got it dialed in. But say I'm making a cast and right off the get-go, the very beginning of my cast, I'm starting to get a backlash. That's when you want to go back to the centrifugal brake. Maybe turn all of them on, see how that goes. If you're making a cast and towards the end of your cast is when you start getting a backlash, that's when you use the magnetic brake to control it. Dial it up a little bit. It's just going to take a little bit of practice and you know keep at it. Once you get it dialed in, you really aren't even going to have to mess with it much. The only thing you're going to have to change is when you change lures, that's when I'll use the spool tension knob. Um, but once you get everything dialed in how you want it, you're not going to have to mess with the magnets too much, too much or the centrifugal brake too much. It's all going to be the spool tension knob based on your lure weight. So that's just a quick overview. Hopefully I answered a few questions for uh, some of the basics you were kind of wondering about. Go ahead and post any questions on the bottom if you have them. Um, awesome reel. Great for beginner or a tournament fisherman even like myself. I love this reel. It's an awesome, awesome reel. But if you're just getting started, I know it can be frustrating. Keep at it. You won't regret it. Great reel. Awesome price. Thanks for watching. Have a good one.